Let's play Redactyl number 503 on Tuesday, August 22nd. Let's hope we don't have a repeat of yesterday where um, halfway through the day the puzzle changed and so I had to solve it twice. So you'll see I have two videos up for number 502. Uh, seven letters and oh, not again, is a chemical element um, well, I think it is. Yeah, with the something symbol, it's phrased a little bit differently from the other ones. And atomic number two. Let me go ahead and play on the new and improved site. And, uh, okay, I think this is the difficulty. It looks like uh, no longer says... Difficulty, unless that's some kind of switch. And then we also have this int introduction. Oh, no, but this is um, a different puzzle. Oh, dear. So I think I am going to have to solve two again. Yeah, here we had a seven-letter word. So let me go ahead and solve this one first. It is a chemical element, so a two character. It is a five, four, eleven, and seven, ten, five. Well, that's usually a list of adjectives, and then at the end, I would think metal. Four, seven. Why four, seven? Most has a something to something, and it has seven, nine to four, seven something in Earth's atmosphere, maybe? Uh, well, maybe not the atmosphere if it's a metal, but maybe no, maybe it's a gas. Um, has a 14, 11 to six. Seven is often found in the something, hence the something name nine, three, four, comes from Latin, Greek, something, oh, maybe from uh, Greek mythology or Roman mythology. Five, eight of eight, the eight of eight. Um, thinking of Mercury, maybe. I did think of Mercury the other day. It was not until the something something that seven was five, four, twelve. Uh, it was not until the something 20th, some century. So Mercury has been around a long time, right? And I think we would see the name of Quicksilver, which is 11 letters, and I'm not seeing that. There's an 11 letter word, but I think here the other name is nine letters. So probably not Mercury. And a two-character symbol, I won't be able to do what I did the other day, where I just guessed letters. Unfortunately, it was early in the alphabet, but two letters. No, I'm not going to. So let me try metal and just see. So it is a metal um, with seven letters. Oh, and here we do have, okay, with something symbol this, I don't know what this is. Um, some alternative symbol with two characters. I, you know, I'm thinking if it's, Something like aluminium, where there's a different pronunciation spelling in the U.S. 
but I don't think so. It is a 5, 4, 11, and 7, 10 metal. Silvery. No. All right, let me scroll down, see if there is something. I think this is just letters after somebody's name, some scientist, unless it's his royal highness or something. Here we have has that density and eight nine with a um, specific gravity or something two eight was the first to something the metal in some four digit year. So I'm thinking maybe, yeah, it's a later one. The metal has a something for seven, eight. Eight, it is used in the something. Metal five on a six five four at room temperature for standard something despite a um, a highling high boiling point maybe so many thousands it is much lower than something metals therefore no not therefore so a metal with a fairly high boiling point i think are these some um, combinations it can have with other elements let's see if uh, usually you will see one or two letters revealed but not here I'm hoping it might just be used in common phrases that we might see in quotes, like the uh, famous go over like a lead balloon we had before. Uh, it's, uh, it's long enough, the article, but it's not one of the longest. And I don't know if you can see over on the right the uh, little scroll bar. It's quite thick. Um, all right, eight metal eleven. And it's not heavy metal thunder. And the feeling that I'm under. Um, yeah, this all seems to be very scientific. And we're down at the bottom already. Three, six, eight, ten. All right. So a seven letter metal. Uh, I'm going to pause, go through the alphabet, and try and think of chemical elements that are metals that begin with each letter. So please stand by. Well, I did think of one. I'm not 100% sure it's a metal, uh, although it is used in uh, battery manufacture, so perhaps it is, and that is uh, lithium. Uh, lithium is mentioned four times. Let's see, six, eight, and eight. Seven, five, six in the nine, is that family, but plus something, and the five nine nine, four six is the nine. Eight are lithium. Lithium. 
something what will lithium combine with uh, nickel copper oh uh, sulfur isn't a uh, considered a metal is it no uh, let me try mercury you've got to put mercury on your list no we do not okay i could not think of any other uh, metals beginning with the other letters of the alphabet on my first pass uh, let me try uses For example, okay, I think this is uses as a verb, uses, the 5, 6, 8 uses 3, 4 of something, while the something 7 uses as something else. Here we go, 5 uses. So it is lithium 7. Well, I just think of things like dioxide. But that's just um, oxygen, right? Two oxygen molecules, which is a 13, is uh, used extensively in 610 and for the something. Um, it belongs to the or something like lithium something uh, let me try some other elements that are not seven letters but just sodium yeah seven seven are used for the nine to eight seven and sodium eight uh, sodium carbonate, no, sodium hydroxide. Hmm. Okay, let's look at our used. And for a something time, these were used something. Not until something. Seven is used something in six. Seven is used in seven. Uh, well, let's try medical which lithium is used in a medical context, or used to be anyway. It is something used in seven and has been six for use in some medical blank. No. Let's try oxygen, single oxygen. The combination of the something of seven with oxygen um, causes it to be, or um, something it to be, six in a six or five ten. Oh, and here we go. The the one dash six. And here we other have some more hyphens. The one dash six six two dash four dash three. Oh, let me try rare metals, by the way. Uh, just the rare, I think that's the rare earth. The rare earth elements. Okay, seven is estimated to be the something most common. Um, we haven't done element in Earth's uh, crust. So I think that's some double digit. Um, so there's no point trying to guess it. 
Yeah, I don't think it can be spelt out as a word at something. Is that then PCT, maybe? Some believe that the nine on Earth is for seven and that the elements four seven has something it in Earth's uh, Earth's core. Yeah. So something in Earth's crust. Hmm. Is a something, is it soft or hard? Is it silvery? It is something soft and, um, well, it wouldn't be soft and brittle. That would be a contradiction. How about pliable? No. It is something soft and something, but ten for it six. That's something heat. Well, maybe, uh, so yeah, these are some uses. Is that um, something like heat shielding? Oh, um, well, asbestos is too many letters. Okay, let's look at the uh, Earth. Is that uh, atmosphere? Yeah. Seven, eight in Earth's atmosphere. Four, six. So it's a chemical element with chemical symbol. All right, I'm going to go back to the alphabet again and see what I overlooked the uh, first time through. Oh, well, I got to uh, you and thought of one I should have thought of, and that is uranium. But I think uranium would have a much longer article, and it would be talking about the um, radioactive side of things. Well, let's try it. Yeah. Yeah, I just felt it's not going to be uranium. Most common, uh, more common less common okay what <laughs> excuse me less common are the something of seven uranium so there's a lot of seven letter elements that i am missing here um phosphor well that's uh eight letters anyway uh Hmm, what am I missing? I feel like there's a C that I'm missing. Uh, I don't think there's a D. Oh, there could be a B I'm missing. Uh, we had beryllium the other day, but that's eight letters, if not nine. Oh my goodness, what am I missing? A very obvious one, I'm sure. of the metal in something, something the element. That's interesting. Nine was the 410. I uh, was the name originally given by eight upon his um, discovery of the metal in some year. So who is eight? The name something that the four eight of the three four. This name. 
something in use in 8.8, 8, the 4, 5, 9 by something chemical 7, from 4, 5, 7, was used in uh, Europe. Okay. Oh, maybe used in American. Aha, uh -huh, in American. Oh, is that, is it still? Or maybe just remained in use? Okay. To end this something, um, this something, the name seven was agreed, no, was uh, chosen for element two at the four. So two different names originally given by somebody at the four eight of the three came from. from the six six of seven in American uh, science American something the four five nine by American chemical something with nine huh. So they had to come up with some new name. A four five, this name was ten seven, was unanimously um, approved or something by the International Board, International Union of Four and Seven. Nine after three five, despite the something of the name. Oh dear. Some thirteen and metal nine still use the original American name nine. Oh my goodness, what is this American name? Uh, hmm. More information. It is one of the three something something along with eight and ten chemical oh let me go and find the um is it a greek god um its name comes from greek nine Greek, oh yeah, I thought that was mythology, but yeah, yeah, Greek mythology. So who is this five? Eight of eight. Not the messenger of the gods. Eight of eight. The eight of eight. Yeah, I've... I've Yeah, maybe it's not named after a person, and maybe it's more named after a a place or an object in Greek mythology. The name blank, the 510, between the two elements in 5-8 and chemical something, does it connect? Uh, combines or 
there's something, the five, uh, maybe the uh, difference between, no, the two elements in 5, 8 and chemical 10, which 5, 4, 9 to 11. So this has a lot of strange things about it. Is it uh, something similar to, yeah, it has a 4, 8, is it a luster? And now similar to gold, gold is mentioned. Uh, how about bronze or gold? No. Is used as a something metal, often with silver or gold. Ah, is it, um, it's not in jewelry, is it? For example, seven, eight, a something of silver, seven, four, five, eight, and four. Six in five, five is something by the eleven of five by a something. Oh my goodness. Two more um, reasons are the, maybe the cost. We have something in euros. And the something, so maybe this one is cheaper than in some year, the five, eight, four, seven, ten of a something trillion. No, uh, not. let's try one singular sensation. No. All right, I'm going to have to just, um, yeah, I think I'm going to actually, since I want to do the other puzzle as well, I think at this point I'm just going to cheat and look at a list of the metal chemical elements, so please stand by. All right, I am very uh, glad that I gave up uh, because I have never heard of this element. Uh, well, I'm sure I've seen it when I was trying to learn off the periodic table, but I've completely forgotten that niobium, if I'm saying that correctly. Oh my, that was a very tough one. Uh, there have been 69 players so far. The median is only 84, the average 104. Uh, I suspect most people, well, maybe wrong, but uh, I don't think that's a commonly known element. Am I wrong? Have you heard of niobium? Formerly columbium. All right. Oh, they even had to change the uh, symbol. Light gray, crystalline, and ductile transition metal. Oxidizes very slowly, so it's used in jewelry. Ah, it's a hypoallergenic alternative to nickel. Very good. And comes from Greek mythology. Oh, it is a person, niobe. Name reflects the great similarity between the two elements. Um, oh yeah, Tantalus. Tantalum, I I've never heard of. Tantalum either. All right, well, I'm glad that one is over. Let's go ahead and play the new and improved, which has a six letter um, puzzle. Six is a five of nine, five and six Oh, uh, I don't want to do, let me, uh, I'd done my settings earlier, but maybe it um, missed or, or I lost those. So I'm going to turn off word annotations. Sometimes with my stylus, I accidentally double click, so I don't want that little annotation thing coming up. I also do not like having my guesses match various forms of the word. Um, show letter counts on all words. No, I don't want that. I want to click on them to see it. I don't want to hide the difficulty. Um, 
do I want to automatically scroll? No, I don't. I don't want sound. So let me go ahead and close. All right. So it's a 5 of 9, 5, and 6 in the 3, 6, 8, and then something in parentheses. Uh, this isn't the one I did uh, last night, is it? Um, I wish I can't remember now what that was, but... Uh, oh, I do remember what that was. Uh, and this is not it. I'm pretty sure. From there, it's something... Something into 10 and 9, and to the 6, 4, and the 13, via the 7, 5, something, 7, 6, 6, or something to something. Oh no, I think this might be the, uh, the one I did, where, yeah, we had these different varieties. Okay, so, um, well, that's a little disappointing. I wonder if there is now um, a change to when the new puzzle appears each day. And maybe instead of it being um, 11 a.m. Central U.S. time, maybe it's uh, later in the day. So let me just try the puzzle from last night, which was coffee. No. Okay, so it's not the same. It's just it's very similar in some ways. Maybe not in others. Um, let me change the appearance. I th I'm going to go with the uh, classic, which is a bit darker. I don't know if you prefer that or not. I also I like the cozy look so that the words, I guess, are just one after the other. and They don't take up a row each. OK, so. Three, four, B, six in five in a coffee. Something. All right. It's not a very long article. This is unusual here. List of 6-6. Six, six. The 5-6 has been something to 9. The 7-9. I'm not sure what. From 5. Are these phrases where it is used? Then we have something round four. Yeah, this is very odd. And then what are these? They look like species. One, six. And then one. And then I wonder if it's like versus. As in a legal case? No. Oh, how about circa? Well, I don't think it's circa. I think it is a, a, a species. Um, like a virus. But <laughs> something that is something to do with coffee, so I hope it's not a virus. The seven is something also used as a four or five by the people of eleven. I guess maybe it's a plant of some kind. Um, let's try plant. There are eight plants. Oh, how about a fruit? Now there are 31 fruits. Is a five of nine, five and six in the, is it in the something family? Yes. 
in the summary family, comma, eight. Uh, such as, such as seven, the five, six is six. Have been used since seven, five. Yeah, I think seeing the capitalized near made me think it was yesterday's because there we had the the Near East. I presume this is an east, near Eastern. No, near near seven from Eastern India. Okay, let me look at some of these things we matched. Now here we do have circa. So I'm thinking these are very old dates, BCE. And then we have, I think these are species. So I'm not sure there's much point going through the Cs. If you want to do it, you can see for yourself. Uh, let's go to our plants. Um, the something originated from where it where it's something to become no to something the plant three uh, the plant uh, the plant now known now known as six. Are a seven form. Uh, maybe where it evolved. Okay, here we have one of our fruits, the five six fruit. A five evolved something from five. Okay, let's look at our other plants. Something is something used as a, would you call that a crop plant? No, a um, used as a something plant by the people. No, ooh, another zero. And if the plant something something, it will six, it will die. Uh, no. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the fruit. Which five four to seven eight four five of fruit seven something's more easily than in the seven from where they came. Interesting. In six, five of six, six fruit was eaten. No. With that of Something fruit such as these. The fruit is a eleven, a eleven five seven to nine. Here are some dimensions with a eight four or four. Is that having a core or a um? stone of some kind. The nine, five of the eight is an seven. From the something six, like five, six into the seven, 
which 7-Eleven to the fruit has it something who have vitamin C All right, let's see if there's anything revealed here that might help us. One thing I do like about the uh, new platform is from my earlier testing, the hint functionality does work for me with the new version. For some reason, the hints did not work for me with the old version, although I I think uh, they worked for everyone else, so not sure why they didn't work for me, but if I do grow desperate on this one, I may end up availing myself of that functionality. So let's see, the four of a six fruit, nine five R N six, may, can, can, then, and also be something in something in a coffee, in a coffee something, in a coffee, I have no idea what that is, a coffee pot, a coffee plant, a coffee beverage, coffee smoothie, Uh, a three like it's not nut like is it no no nuts all right any more fruits uh, that I need to be aware of here's the temperature that it needs to grow I suppose Since the something may form a 5, 4 4 on the 6 of the 3. Okay. Uses. Oh, um. They are 9, 6 and can be 6, 5 into 8. 10 is 486 and eaten out of the eaten out of the skin I suppose what fruit is eaten out of the skin oh um orange you would eat out of the skin I suppose well we do have orange eaten out of the skin with a oh a spoon Oh, what do you eat out of the skin with a spoon? Well, I know I've seen people eat kiwi fruit with a spoon. Does anyone else do that? I think it's sort of the easiest way, like eating a, a boiled egg. Um, eating out of the skin with a spoon. <laughs> Orange and ten, six are also seven, nine, nine. Five, six can be eaten out of something with the, with the something skin. Oh my goodness, and here we have orange again. There's a lot of orange. So is it a, another citrus? Oh, how about citrus as a sort of general umbrella? There we go. Well, I didn't get to use the hint function today. Oh, also, because it's now on redactyl.net, looks like it didn't get my stats. So let me click here, migrate your stats. Migrated, ah, so it did migrate all my game. Um, so there we, oh, that's nice. So apart from the ones I think it's missing where I played on the test site, 
it looks like it has pulled over um, a lot of my games. So that's good. Okay, there have been uh, 684 games played today. Uh, yeah, I am a bit later, running a little late today. Here I am with my 30. It looks like almost 20 people got it very quickly. Maybe not in one. Uh, maybe a lot of people guessed orange first. But there we go. A genus of flowering trees and shrubs in the rue family. Plants in the genus produce citrus fruits, such as oranges, lemons, grapefruits, pomelos, and limes. Where it's native to, the history, yeah, here are all these um, different species, and so on. All right, well, I'm happy enough to get it in 30. Uh, just wish I didn't have to solve two puzzles. Thanks as always for watching, and have a great day.